Welcome to this morning's competitions. We are walking the course for Team Agility Large. This is where we find out who will become the world championship in world champions in team for large dogs. We are looking at a course from Nicolas Renault, the French judge, and it's really exciting. I really enjoy this course. Like let's take a look at the course map. We have a straight start from one to two, which is somewhat um, different at this level. A lot of dogs will probably look at the backside of two. We have a tricky weave entry. We've got some very interesting sequences in this course. We have a speedy dog walk exit. And um, let's take a look at the white dog running this course. This is a Swedish dog named Abby with Elin Nilsson. Very nice start, but a refusal at weave, the weave poles. Then she has to push out of the weaves, wrap that number six up onto the seesaw, threadle there into the tunnel, another Straddle or push over the wall jump into the tunnel and then a wrap. Looks like a refusal there. Speedy dog walk exit to the back side. And finishing off with the A frame to the jump. So we have the Lars Lard <laughs> the last course walk happening. We have the top teams going in that course walk as they are running last. In the We have the top teams walking the course and number one from yesterday is Germany with a time of 103.40. No, sorry. <laughs> That's small. Top large teams, we have Italy with the time. With the time. Uh, so sorry. Yes. Huh? We have Italy in the lead with a time of 102.09. Second, walking the course right now, Sweden large with a time of 102.76. And in third place, we have Latvia with a time of 102.80. And we have quite a lot of clean teams going into this final. We have 14 clean teams. We have two teams with time faults. And then we have a few five fold teams and a few 10 fold teams. And a total of 31 teams with a result from yesterday. So this will be an exciting final. But even the teams that are eliminated from yesterday are running this competition and they still have the chance to um, place well in this class. There will be prize givings for just the agility class as well as yesterday's jumping class. But for the total, the world champion, we will combine the results from today and yesterday. So it's probably one of the clean teams from yesterday that will become world champions. But anything can happen. Nothing is written in stone, as we say here in Sweden, and, and uh, anything can happen exactly. Yes, and I think this course is really challenging in a good way. And I think we will see a lot of different mistakes being made on this course. And I'm really excited to see it being run. I think the weaves might get some dogs. I think some of the tricky threadle situations might get some dogs. And even the back going to the backside of number two might be a problem for some dogs that are looking for a backside from the start line. And in this case, they are just taking that jump straight on and then going into a threadle on number three. The 
take a look at the white dog again to give you a sense of this course. This is Elin Nilsson and Abby from Sweden. She's a fantastic agility handler. Yes. Has look been a little bit start. unfortunate with the dog's injuries yes. of these years, uh, the past year. So an unfortunate refusal in weave poles there. She has to push out of the weaves to get to number six. And then she has to leave the dog on the seesaw. This is another challenge. She has to run away from the dog to make that blind cross to nine. And here we want to see a perfect seesaw. I know the judge is very, very picky on the, on the it has to go down to touch the ground uh, very nice before the dog handling. leaves. Very nice handling from Elin there. Over the wall jump, into the tunnel, and then she has to wait for the dog to push her out to 16. And she gets a refusal there because she tries to get off for the dog walk and the dog wants to come with her. Then we have a con up contact judge, Magne Alden from Sweden. He's only judging the up contact on the dog walk to make sure that Nicolas can look at the down contact. Very nice handling from Elin here, coming onto the A-frame. And over the last jump, number 22. Especially curiosity here in Sweden, we do not judge the up contacts. The, uh, we took that away in the rules. Uh, so it's a different, little bit different from the FCI rules. But here, of course, the top teams, they uh, train their dogs to do the up contacts too. That's true. The Swedish rules, we don't judge up contacts, which I kind of like because it's very difficult as a judge to look at both, both up, and, up mm. and down contacts. And in regular competition, there's only just one judge. And then we see Joni in picture. He's doing the, um, uh, the course work. Very focused. Yes, he Swedish, has his plan. Swedish team member Joni Renius in picture. He looks very focused. We have some Japanese, Italians. <laughs> this will be one exciting final. Yeah, come here. And here we see the Italians from yesterday's. They are the leading uh, team right now. Some snapshots from their runs yesterday. We also see the judge from yesterday, Andrea Silveberg. Very focused on every dog that he judged. Yes, the Italians were amazing yesterday, and Nicola Giraldi with Eira had the number one clean time yesterday. He was the fastest clean dog in the large jumping course. Second place yesterday individually was Jenny Dam with Lily from Sweden. First walk is finished and we are getting ready to see this first dog on the line within short. Okay. So we are starting, as Fanny probably said already, the, uh, the other way around the, uh, from the results list yesterday. Uh, literally starting last because they were first the first team yesterday. So to, we will start with Serbia. Yes, and Serbia were eliminated so, yesterday. So they did not get a result yesterday. They will not be in the competition for combined results. But they do have a chance to do it well on this course. We are looking at the judges. We have Nicolas Renault from France. We have up contact judge Magne Alden from Sweden. 
they are. Nicholas and Magne. Teamwork. And the first team we have today is Team Serbia. And our first runner is Anna Pido with Chaffee. We are getting ready for the first dog of the day. And this is Team Serbia. This is Alar Kivilo with Tuffy, a border collie. That's a nice start into the tunnel. Will he get the weave entry? No, we have a refusal. This is going to be tricky. Another refusal for Tuffy. In agility, if you get three refusals, that's an elimination. So if he gets one more, he is eliminated. But so far, only two refusals. Looking good in this sequence. Coming to the wrap at 16. Up onto the dog walk. That was a nice up contact. But he misses the contact zone on the down contact. Going up onto the A-frame, nice running contact. 15 faults for Allah and Tuffy. Oh, they did a little bit better than yesterday, than when they DQ'd yesterday, they disqualified yesterday, he hasn't missed the result here. So let's see what the next team member do. This Does. is another border collie, a very dark one. Mikhaila Tomic with Gazela. Another refusal into the weaves. This is going to be tricky. Nice seesaw, very nice handling there, keeping a distance from the dog, pulling the dog in, and mm. a refusal as the dog goes into the tunnel instead of taking the wall jump. Nicholas made a pretty tricky course here, something to work on for the all the handlers taking part in this uh, trial today. Our next dog. Our next dog is a Malinois named Condor with Miroslav Tomic. And that's a nice weave entry. And he's in some trouble as he doesn't get around the weaves, but he manages. This team also does IPO, um, Schutzen Protection Sport. And they have been in both the Agility World Championships and the IPO World Championships in the same year. That's impressive. So one refusal so far, nice contact. And five faults picked up on the down contact on the A-frame. So ten faults for Miroslav and Condor. We have our last dog from Serbia. This is Trigi with Alar Kivilo. He's running two dogs in this team. Trying to leave the dog at the start line, but the dog is very eager to go. Good thing he's got fast legs. And that's a nice weave entry. Ooh. It looked like he was going to get around those weaves, but he didn't. And the dog took the jump from the wrong side. Weaves are definitely a challenge in this course. Very nice handling there. Going into the wrap. It will be interesting to see how many running contacts we have in this competition. Yes. Probably most of them will be running contacts. I would think so. Very unfortunate there, dog coming up on the wrong side. Our next team is Team Estonia. This is Maje Pirjura with Dints, a Malinois. And Estonia yesterday had two results. They had two uh, clean runs and two disqualified in the jumping Very yesterday. Very nice. Beautiful. Nice weaves, both entry and exit 
perfectly. It's a good seesaw. They're working around perfectly, very nice. Maria is an experienced handler. This is her younger of the two Malinois she's running in this team. Nice up contact. Very nice stopped contact there. Totally in control. Very controlled, very nice. Ooh, Ooh that's a pity. Beautiful picked, run, picked very up nice. Five faults on the A frame, unfortunately. A very nice run, otherwise. Our next team is a border collie called Faye with March Mitt. And they had a really nice run yesterday. This is a two and a half year old dog that placed sixth individually in the run yesterday with a time of 33.65. So this is a team to look out for. Very nice start. Will she get the weave entry? No, unfortunate refusal there. Young dog, probably not as experienced as some, as some of the older ones. Very nice seesaw, very independent, perfect threadle there. This is a good team. Looks so easy. Into the wrap, nice wrap. A Oops. running contact, but unfortunately five faults. And a miscommunication leading to a refusal. It is that split second when she noticed that, yes. she, that the dog didn't do a perfect running contact and they get unfocused. Very true. We have another border collie from Team Estonia. This is Steffi Prakli with Eti. This Estonian team, or not this Estonian team, but the Estonian team was third last year at the World Championships. Another it is refusal. a tricky one, and the, you know, having the weaves so close to the uh, to the end of the the whole course here, it is difficult for the dogs to go all the way. Nice seesaw, very nice throttle. Oh, and we have a dropped long jump, so five faults, and ooh. The wall jump barely stays up, but she's not faulted because the piece of the wall didn't fall, and that's a nice running contact, but the dog goes straight and gets eliminated for taking the wrong Straight jump. into the trap. Nice, nice to see, though, the, uh, the obstacles here. We have Galikan's uh, safety soft long jump that doesn't hurt when they touch the, um, uh, the, the pieces, the individual pieces of the jump. We they have Maria again on the start line, this time with Susie. This is an experienced Malinois. Um, she's placed many times at World Championships and Beautiful setting best entry. times. Very nice. This is... Look at that handling, very nice. Yes. She's with the dog all the time. This is experience in mm. action. But she was third in jumping last year individually. Handling beautifully over the wall jump into the tunnel. Coming up for the wrap. She's very clear with the dog. Very clear. And she uses stops on all the, well, both of her dogs. Yes, she has stopped contacts, but they are efficient and pretty fast. And that's a nice Ooh, running very nice running. Five faults. We have Team Greece coming up. This is Christos Balasopoulos with Mio, a border collie. And let's remember what Greece did yesterday. They had two results um, and uh, two de disqualified dogs, uh, which of course ended up with no result for the whole uh, run here. Okay, we just found out that, I don't really know why, but Susie was eliminated. The judge went to the secretary to double check and Susie was eliminated. Maria Piroya and Susie, elimination. So the Estonian team ends up with two eliminated dogs. And Christos is 
keeping his dog engaged yeah. when he has to wait. Doing Interesting some tricks. routine here. Yes, some tricks. And the dog says, well, you know, we are going to run. Don't want to do tricks. <laughs> He's checking his shoelaces and the judge is ready. And very oh, ready. Beautiful. <laughs> very ready. That is so nice to see. This is something really exciting and the dogs love this. And he's, he is fast. Yes, he's running to get that. But then he has to run to get around it. But he is, ooh, he gets Very it. nice. Beautiful. Nice independent seesaw. Oh, he drops faults. both the wing and the bar on that jump. Lucky there are fast helpers out there to put the jump together again. Yes. And be out of the way. Very good. Nice running contact. Some mm. miscommunication, and he gets a and refusal, he and get an he backs jumps that jump, which leads to an elimination. But they did good, though. I mean, it was uh, from the part where he he threw the uh, hurdle down and the jump down. He he managed to stay in contact with the dog and, and continue running. We have Elpida Ismail with Diesel Border Collie, only two and a half years old. This dog, and it's their first world championship. Nice. And Very nice for a young dog. Ooh. She <laughs> Very challenging part. She stays with the dog on the seesaw. And that puts her behind. And unfortunately, <laughs> they are eliminated for jumping the jump twice. So Team Breeze, two eliminations so far. What an exciting course. It's... it's and very exciting course, and I can't wait until we build it up at home and start training. It really challenges obstacle skills like the seesaw, the weaves, and independence on jumps. We have Temistokilis Orokopoulos with Pisa. Um, Malanoa. I like this Malinois, it's really small and dark, very pretty dog. Mm. And he's running fast to keep ahead of his fast dog. And he, wow! This is the first time we've seen someone change sides before. That was an unfortunate. Five faults. Five faults on the seesaw. I hope we can see that weave entry again after this run. That was really nice. And he got the up contact, but unfortunately, five faults on the down contact. This is a problem for the long striding dogs. It is, actually. I was thinking on my own turf back home, and she has. we have always been struggling with the contact. Look at that weave entry. Very nice. And that puts him in a perfect position for the next jump. Beautiful. Beautiful. Our last dog in Team Greece is Crisula Chasapi with Muffin, a Border Collie. Ooh, wow. That was a beautiful weave entry. She had some hesitation coming out of the tunnel. She picks up five on the seesaw. And she refuses and the, the long jump and goes into the tunnel. You have to really risk a lot here. You need to be l far ahead of the dog in order to reach the, the second part of the, uh, of the uh, course. Yes. And be there for your dog. Independence on the seesaw is key here. Beautiful artwork from the judge side. Yes. Leaving the course quickly to reward her dog. Let's see this entry here again. Wow, beautiful. Yes, look at that tight turn. Very nice. We have Team Norway coming up. They were also, unfortunately, disqualified yesterday. I had two results, two team members that made some results, clean runs, but two disqualified, unfortunately. That puts them in a... Yes, this is Maria Thimmerholm with EC, a border collie that's only two years old. But Marietta is experienced. She's been to World Championships with Shelty before. 
Lovely to see how she says hello to the supporters up there in the corner. Yes, the Norwegian Look supporters at these, are all these focused guys. and excited. They are the loudest crowd here, I would say. They're off to a nice start. Let's see how this young dog negotiates the weave entry. They get it. Will she get this turn? Very nice. That's a very nice flip there. A nice seesaw. Perfect. Good start for Mirjata Nisi. She rear crosses into the tunnel. Gets ready for the wrap. Beautiful. Nice up contact. And she's in the zone. This is looking good. Wow. And this is actually our first clean run of the day. It is the first. Oh, man. It is a tough course. It is and a tough really, course. It will really show who, who's got it here. Yes, this two-year-old dog, first clean run. We Beautiful now work. have Aina Lundqvist with Enzo. He's five years old. This is his first time at the World Championship, nice. and he gets the weave and entry. The sporters are cheering. Oh. But unfortunately, she doesn't get around the weaves. He takes that jump number six from the wrong side, and they are eliminated. But they keep playing, and that is good. The dog has to know that he does a really great job so that he can be rewarded at the end of the course. Beautiful. And the Norwegian supporters are cheering for their team all the way. I have a feeling that there will be some kind of competition between the Norwegians up a corner, the Danes down them, down under, and the Swedes supporters. I, Swedish I wonder supporter. if the Swedish supporters can match the Norwegians, even though they are. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Unfortunate there. She's just not fast enough to show him which side of the jump to take. We have Bord Iversen with Zappa, a seven-year-old border collie, and this is their first world championship. They got eliminated yesterday. Let's see what they do here today. This is a nice team. Nice entry. Perfect entry. The Norwegians have their weave entries down, Oy. but... Oops. Ooh. Up again. He makes the same mistake. He doesn't get around the weaves and takes that jump from the wrong side. Very unfortunate. And Zappa and finds, he finds himself a tunnel. <laughs> yes. Why and not? Again. Yes. <laughs> While on it. <laughs> they are eliminated, so why not do all the tunnels? Happy days. Board's looking a bit deflated here. Nice stop contact. Oh, he has nurse of steel so he can make it training contact on the A-frame here. Yes. Even on the world uh, 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 board championship. Poor board falling over. <laughs> okay, we have Lise Rianne Hansen with Gosh, and these are probably the most experienced on this team, having been to the world championships before. Unfortunately, a dropped bar. Nice weave entry once they get that. She also does oh, so the dry. backside of the weaves. That is a good one. Nice seesaw. Another dropped bar, unfortunately. And a third drop bar. This is not usual for Gosh. I rarely see her drop bars. Nice contact. It's a stopped contact, but it's very fast. And the Norwegian fans are cheering as Gosh comes to the finish line, unfortunately with some dropped bars. We have Team Ukraine on the line. This is Olena Boklova with Fora. They have three results from yesterday, Ukraine. Um, and wow. one eliminated. This is beautiful. She 
was placed 17th individual last year. On her, that, and that was her first world championship. This is her second, and it's looking very nice. Let's see the dog walk. Beautiful. Very nice running contact, but oh, no. No. The dog takes oh. the wrong side of the jump and, and the judge is saying, what are you doing? Yes. <laughs> This dog is only three years old and looks like they have a bright future in front of them. Isn't that interesting to see the new dogs here, how they perform on the course and the nervous, a place like this, compared yes. to the more seasoned dogs. Beautiful to see how dogs develop. Natalia Denisenko with Roy. Ooh, she's running fast. She's quick. Will she get around the weaves? She yes, has she some does. problems, but she manages. She picks up five faults on the seesaw, unfortunately. This is their first world championship. Very nicely handled there. Perfect wrap. Quite large dog. Perfect running contact. Oops, and a drop slipped. bar. That's a pity. Ten faults so far. Ten faults for Natalia and Roy. Yeah. Oh. A very unfortunate jump there. Didn't look like he slipped. Something else must have happened yes. there. We have Daria Skripcia with Ched, a border collie. Nice style at the start line there. Ready to go. Very nice start. Fast handler. And Ooh, she pushes the pity. dog too far. He goes around the first pole. So a refusal picked up there. Nice seesaw. Nice threadle, but he drops the bar. Ten faults so far. That's a nice sequence from them. And into the wrap. She positions herself very nice there. Nice up contact and nice down contact. No doubt there. Nice rotation. Nice. A frame. We have 10 faults on a time of 41.28. And still only one clean run on this course. <laughs> this will be one exciting final. We have the last dog from Team Ukraine. His name is Rico, and he drops the first bar. That's unfortunate. Handler is Natalia Vostrochanova. Nice seesaw. Some nice jumping there. Into the wrap. And we have a running contact. Ooh, Unfortunately, fault. he misses the contact. So, 10 faults. Team Ukraine has a result with three dogs with 10 faults each. We have Team Great Britain with Greg Derrett on the line. That was a surprise yesterday that they had um, they had three results, one DQ, but they didn't manage to get yes. higher up in the ranking. Team Great Britain had two of the fastest times yesterday, unfortunately with five faults on both those dogs. This is Addict, and it's looking good. Greg is one of the veterans in the sport. He's been doing agility since 1990, and he is pretty much always on the British team and has some great team results from the World Championships with the golds and silvers. He's yep. also had an individual silver. Looking good. With another dog. He is looking very good. Are we looking at our we second are. clean run? Second clean run. 40-63. Now he's back. Now we recognize him. Good job, Greg. Very good job. <clears throat> Number two for Great Britain is Martin Reed with Spring. And he is running fast. Nailing that entry and rear crossing the weaves. That's the first we've seen to do that. Nice wrap. Very nice seesaw. 
Perfect throttle into the tunnel. Over the wall jump, they are still clean. And the dog slices the jump and gets a weird, Ooh. weird entry to the dog walk. But oh. Oh. that Again. was a perfect, That's perfect running contact, but then just came to the wrong side of the jump. That sequence is challenging. Yes, very nice run. And the dog handles that entry to the dog walk perfectly. We have Dan Shaw with Geek, and they had such a nice run yesterday, unfortunately with five faults, but they had a fifth time in total. They pick up a refusal on the weaves. This is a fast dog. Whoa. Perfect seesaw. Oh. And a dropped bar. Tenfold so far for Dan and Geek. Nice wrap. Up onto the dog walk. They have a very fast stopped dog walk. Her beautiful contacts on this dog. And the Brits often have very nice Look at contacts. That. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. So, last up for Team Great Britain is Natasha Weiss with Pebbles. She had the uh, fastest time yesterday of the team. She of their team. had the third best time she of did. all dogs uh -huh. yesterday at 33.16. Exactly. See what she does here today. And she drops a bar. She does, yeah. And she, and she also crosses the weaves. Perfect. Nice seesaw. Natasha is very... Ooh. Oh, she gets a refusal. Yeah. Natasha's won the medium category individually many years with her Border Collie Dizzy, but this is her new dog, Pebbles, in large. They have really stunning contacts in this team. Yes, very consistent stopped contacts. Mm -hmm. Except for Spring that had a nice running. So still two, only two clean runs. We have Team Canada and this is an exciting dog with blue eyes. Lux. Beautiful. She's only three years old, running with Jessica Patterson, and they won one of the runs at the European Open. She rear crosses the weaves, when she pick, she forgets the course. She sends the dog to the wrong side of the jump. That is so unfortunate. This is such a good dog. Missing the long jump there. Jessica probably Got, got thrown off by that forgetting the course. She Running contact coming up. Beautiful. She will have a new chance here when she uh, she will be the, the, the last member of this team yes, again. Yes, she's running her older dog as number four in this team. Mm -hmm. On the line now, we have Susan Garrett with Momentum. And we... Uh, Momentum is another young dog. This is her first world championship. It is not Susan's first world championship. I think she's been to every world championship since 2008, when Canada started allowing border collies on their team. She leads out far. And she tries to send the dog to the backside of three, but dog won't do it. Nice weave entry. Will she get around the weaves? Barely, but she makes it. Nice seesaw. Momentum loves seesaws. You can tell that this is a young dog, but she will for sure be back at World Championships in the future. Running contact coming up. Nice run. So we have Great Britain in the uh, first place here. Yes. Followed by Ukraine 
and then we don't have any other teams. And then we don't have anything else, exactly. First Great Britain, second Ukraine. This is Justine Davenport with Summit. Summit is nine and a half years old, and he's actually the father of Lux that was running first in this team. He's also the father of one of the dogs in uh, Team Poland. Summit has been to many world championships. Powerful dog, but he gets a refusal on the tunnel. He's looking for the weaves and then a refusal in the weaves. The handler apparently expected more from, from this dog. She looks a little bit disappointed. Yes. Dropping a bar and a wing. 15 folds so far. Let's see her um, dog walk. It's a stop dog walk, it is but a it's nice. Very controlled dog walk. Coming up onto the A-frame. Nice stop. And 15 folds for Justine and Summit. Last dog in this team is, again, Jessica Patterson. This time with Trix. Trix is the younger sister to Summit, but she's also probably around eight years old. They had the fastest uh, time yesterday in the team. Yes, this is a fast dog. She won the oh. European Open in 2015. Refusal in weaves there. Nice. Nice throttle. Nice stopped contact on the dog walk. Up onto the A-frame. And just five folds mm -hmm. for Jessica and Trix. Still only two clean runs. We have Team Slovenia coming up. They have some interesting dogs. This is Masa Ceglad with Maggie, a border collie. Refusal in the weaves. Those weaves are challenging. Yeah, exactly. That it seems to be the toughest part on the whole course. Nice seesaw. Very nice so far. Perfect wrap up onto the dog walk. Stop contact. That looks good. Just five faults so far. And we have a time of 41-14 and five faults for Maza and Maggie. Next up in this team, we have Polona Bonac with Lynn. Polona is a very experienced handler. She has several medals at the European Open in all three heights. This is her border collie. Eight and a half years old. And a refusal. A little in too the fast there. Holes. It's a small body collie. Yes. Drop oh. bar. That, that, that bar. That, yeah, yeah, that, 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 that hurt wing. A little, yeah, that wing, exactly. A lot of the dogs are jumping straight into the wing. She goes in the tunnel there and is eliminated. And the whole wall comes down. Lucky it's a soft wall. Yes. Stop contact there. Straight into the tunnel. We have Anja Primusic with Eni coming up. This is their first world championship. The dog is four and a half years old. Pretty dog.
Very nice start. Will she get the entry? No. Another refusal in the weaves. Oh, nice. nice. Very nice. Oops. She yeah. picked up five faults on the seesaw. Ten faults total so far. Fast dog. Happy. Wrap. Very tight wrap there. She's and going for a the running. Very nice running dog walk. We have 10 falls in a time of 39.36. Our last competitor for Team Slovenia is agility superstar Sylvia Turkman with two. Two is four and a half years old. And Sylvia is a very experienced handler. She's won the world championships three times in medium with two different dogs. And she has won the European Open five times with both medium and large dogs. Perfect weave entry. And she picks up five on the seesaw. She slips a little bit on the carpet here. Yes. And a refusal oh. on the wall jump and into the tunnel. And Too a DQ. Bad. Yeah. <laughs> now two is taking all the tunnels. <laughs> Coming up to the dog walk. This should be a running contact. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. And the, <laughs> the running contact people over there on the other side of the course are cheering. Yes. Very nice. And I know that Sylvia has been struggling with bars with toe, and she hasn't dropped a bar yet in this competition. So I'm, I'm sure that Sylvia is very happy about that. So we have the Brazilian team coming up here. Um, and they start with Marcel, Marcela Chequia with the, and her angel, or Angel. Nice angel weave does entry. a perfect weave entry. Let's see what she does here too. And really nice. Perfect seesaw, but she is behind. Will the dog figure it out? Yes. Looking good. Yes. Clean so far. Now let's see what she does in the dog walk here. No! no! Oh, man. What a pity. It was a beautiful run. Still only two well, clean <laughs> runs. Anything can happen in this final. <laughs> It's a nine team that's going out, and we have only two clean runs. Yes. Two individual clean runs. We have Easy from Norway with a clean run, and we have Addict from Great Britain with a clean run. And let's see here with the second team member of the Brazilian team, Alessandra Borges, what she can do with, um, with Eva. Blue Merle Border Collie. She is Alessandra does a perfect. He's fast. Perfect weave entry. He really put the dog into those weaves. Mm -hmm. Very smooth handling. And he has seen the other dogs <sighs> hitting the hurdle. And the refusal. The handlers are trying to get to the other side of that tunnel and they are expecting the dog to take the long jump. But some dogs, some dogs just see the tunnel and refuses the long jump. We had a dropped bar the, and wing the public, as well. The public is telling him to stop running because the dog is uh, apparently limping. No, I think it was because the helper was at the jump still. Well, it it like looks like he has a limping with the right, yeah. right back. Well, so they, they yeah, exactly. He hurt himself, so the people were telling him to stop. Yeah. We nope. really hope that the Brazilian dog is not, uh, well, didn't hurt himself too much there. Uh, the third team member here is Ricardo Tubaldi, um, Tubaldini, sorry, uh, with Flora. A very white border collie. He's a fast handler. Yes, he's following his dog to that long jump, making sure that he gets all the obstacles. He's really following the dog closely. Stop, yep. 
And he made that contact. No fault. He's, looking He's good still so far. clean. Will we have the 13 run? We have a 13 we have run. A 13 run. Ricardo and Flora. That gets us to the 39. last, uh, the last, the fourth um, team member of the Brazilian team, Moab Mordomio, who is running with Raiva. Nice, nice handling here, and it gets to the perfect point of the weave entry. Very nice weaves. Ooh, he gets that yeah. cradle. Pushing to the back sides, and he is not keeping up with his dog and it causes a dropped bar. Perfect running contact. And the helper is in the way, yeah. But the handler saved the situation and could manage to, uh, to finish the course. Yes. Five faults. Five faults. Let's see what that put Brazil. Brazil, they went up into the first place, be running before um, Great Britain, in second place, and Ukraine third. Did a good job there, the Brazilians. We have Czech Republic. This is Radovan Liska with Ori. They are experienced, and it's looking good. But he doesn't go around the 13 jump. This is the same situation where we had a dropped bar in the last run, and handlers are having a hard time keeping ahead of their dogs in that push. So we have... Attack. We and have here we have the top three. Brazil, uh, first place, Great Britain, and Ukraine. Very nice. Very nice handling here. Our second Czech Republic team is Barbara Skarnitslova with Brooke. She saves that situation nicely, but gets a refusal on the long jump. And so the handlers that stay on that side of those jumps, pulling the dogs in, yep. if they don't get a front cross in, they have some trouble getting the dogs over the wall jump. Nice running contact. So we have two eliminations for Team Czech Republic. Our third dog is Teresa Kaniova, Kaniova with Jess. Jess is ready to start. They did a clean run yesterday, so we hope for another clean run today here. This course is much harder, but they nailed that weave entry, and what a nice exit from the weaves. She's ahead of her dog. Mm, five five faults on the seesaw. Such a challenging course, and she gets around those jumps very nicely, shows the dog the way without causing any dropped bars. We have a running contact. Beautiful very running. Very nice. It looks good. Yes. Five faults, 37 42. So, our last competitor for Team Czech Republic is the reigning world champion, Teresa Kralova and Sey. This is an amazing team that has won so much. They had beautiful times yesterday fastest of this team and must have been in the top from yes, yesterday. Yes, she was top 10th uh, place yesterday individually. Okay. This is beautiful. She's working very 
tight and close to the dog. Yes. And running contact coming up. Wow, perfect. look at those strides. Look at those strides. And what a perfect hit. Just two jumps. There we go. go. A clean run. A clean run again. Yes, 36.80. That is about three seconds faster than the previous fastest clean run. Powerful. We have Team Switzerland coming up. This is Janine Glor with U2. Oh, a refusal in the waves. Nice seesaw. Dog really saving that bar. Just pushing to the back sides of 12 and 13, but the dog doesn't push and gets eliminated. It's good though, she doesn't show any hesitation and disappointment. She continues running and the dog doesn't know that he yes. uh, didn't negotiate the course as he should have done. Very nice. Unfortunate elimination. We now have Sylvan Zamvern with Penny. Beautiful weave entry. Very nice, oh, but a drop that, bar. That, that it jump, fell so late. That jump is really tricky. Yes, but this is beautiful. And a beautiful running contact. Thirty-seven, twenty-four, and five folds. Our third competitor is Andre Mühlebach with Lynn. Wow. Beautiful, nice. very nice third of the year. Up into the dog walk. And running contact. Nice running contact. This is beautiful. Will we have a, another clean run? Yes. yes. Good. Time of 38.15. We have Christian Freyand with Braveheart coming up. Last dog in the Swiss team. Times have really changed since uh, when they changed the starting procedure and, and the handler only has 15 seconds to start the dog on the course. Unfortunate elimination as the dog takes number three from the wrong side. Nice. Nicely handled there. Well, he feels much more relaxed, I, I, I believe that, you know, when he knows he's already disqualified, he can wow, do Wow, that is a beautiful running contact. Way. Team Hungary coming up. This is a Moody with Agnes Kovacs. Name of the dog is Lolka. Lolka. And Lolka. some hesitation there oh. and a refusal into the weaves. It's a large Moody. It is. You'll find Moody's in all heights. 
probably not in small at this competition, but in some others. This is a large Moody. Most of them will be in the medium category. Exactly. Missed up contact. This is the first we've seen so far, I believe. And into finish with 10 faults. For us who love statistics, there are 13 Moody's in this competition, entering in this competition. 13. They are an athletic breed. This is Lila Shokol with Cassie, a border collie. Nice weave entry. Will she get around? She does. Perfect seesaw. Very nice line there. She's pushing, pushing, and she's ahead of the dog. It's very nice. Nice wrap up onto the dog walk. We have a stopped contact. She nails it. Going to the back side there. Looking very good so far. Just very the calm, very gentle. Control. A clean run. And a clean run. 41.59. It's very nice and controlled. We have Julia Fosi with Tig, a beautiful brown, smooth border collie. Oui. <laughs> he is hesitating, but he doesn't get a refusal. He's clean. A very fast and, and a loud dog. Yes. Beautiful seesaw. Nice line there. Let's see what she does. She pushes to 12 and threatles to oh, 13, but he drops the bar. Nice she there. wasn't fast enough. And Oi. he slices. Oh, oh, oh. We have yeah. a refusal. We have a refusal. The dog didn't came out on the wrong side of the jump. And she got another refusal, probably for stopping the dog. Yeah. Very nice dog, though. Beautiful. So that should be 15 faults. One drop bar, two refusals. It was 15 faults for the last And the our last dog for Team Hungary is Anita Silaji with Dita. And they were second in the individual competition last year. So this is a very good fast dog. Perfect weave entry. Nicely handled there. Up onto the seesaw. Perfect seesaw. Very nice. She pushes to 12, pushes to 13. She's ahead of the dog over the wall jump. This is good. Nice wrap up onto the dog walk. And we have a stopped contact, but it's pretty quick. And oh. the dog comes to the wrong side. What a shame. Number 19, the dog threadles. I would have Did liked to see their time. Yeah. Fast dog. Still Brazil in the lead. We have Great Britain second, and we have Hungary third place. Spain coming up. We have Spain coming up that has a combined result of 10 faults from yesterday. We have Adrián Bajo con, uh, with his Sucre. Very nice, nice entry, Adrián. Muy bien. Beautiful. This is a very young handler. He's been in the agility since I remember. I started my agility career in Spain, actually. Beautiful, very nice handling. Very nice. Wow, look at that. It's looking good, Adrian. He is and in let's control. Let's see what they do here. Spain has developed a lot. Beautiful. Wow. Beautiful. Look, developed a lot with an agility. He touched the bar on 18, but he is still clean. And it's a clean wow. run. Really good. Muy bien, Adrian. Muy bien. The public is excited. 
So let's see what the second team member of Spain here will do. We are talking about Sara Garcia, uh, and she is running with her dog Brown. Very nice handling. He spins in front of the of the uh, weaves, so got a five fault there. Picks up a refusal of nice flick there. Two number six. Yes. Good seesaw. So she has five faults so far. She pulls the dog in, and then pulls to the wall jump and rear crosses, but the dog is oh, not sure. That is, no, she wasn't clear enough when she was showing the dog the way to go. And he was hesitating. Yeah, she got stuck on that rear and the dog just turned too sharply. And here we have another very nice um, running contact, which is something that the new generation, of course, of uh, agility handlers in Spain, all of them are doing, I think, or most of them. So that was a, a, a sad this elimination. Let's see here what the third runner will do here. It's Pau Serrano with his Super, and Super is actually a Swedish dog. Born she was Sweden. born in Sweden and raised in Spain. Unfortunately, a dropped bar there. This is a fast dog. Nice. Oh, he, was he was pushing the dog out. Yes, and just going so fast. Mm. That's a pity, pal. Nice job. Very good handler. Young so handler, too. Two eliminations two for Spain. Two eliminations for Spain. Unfortunately. So let's see what the Look most... Look at that contact. Very nice. It's showing off a little bit here, what he can do and the dog can do. Really nice dog, Swedish dog. So we have the fourth and last team member of the Spanish team. It's Jonathan Guillen. He is the most, Span uh, Spanish, most seasoned handler, I would say, uh, in this team. Had participated in at least. Ooh, what are you doing, Jonathan? Well, the dog didn't really listen or see, didn't really see what he was showing. But he has participated in like 12 or 13 World Wild Championships. And they did great last year. They had some really nice runs with top times last year at the World Championship. They did. This nice team third, has potential. It's real. I mean, the the Spanish young team here. It's it's really nice to see how yes. how they Look have at developed. those contacts. Very nice. Great job there. Five Spain. faults. So we have a very exciting team coming up. This is Team Russia. This dog was faster than all the clean dogs yesterday with five faults, with a time of 33.04. And look at that weave entry. Natalia Sternberg with Shaki. Russia has always been such an exciting Perfect. agility country. Nice. This is so nice. She does the outside. Wow. What a team. Let's hope they can keep it together. Running contact. Wow, look at that dog walk. Impressive. And she, oh, look at that. Looks like we might have another clean run. And we have a clean 36, run. 36, 36 65. That is super. Yeah. And she get the love from the audience here. Wow, that was intense. A lot intense. of loves. Oof. Russia comes in at uh, place 22nd from yesterday. Yes, Ekaterina Povalishiva with DC. Perfect Gets entry. the weaves. They are very communicative, very showing the dogs how they should, nego the, they should negotiate the whole uh, course. Very clear in their handling. They yes. are in the perfect place at all times. Will they have another clean run? 
They will. Yes. Thirty-eight eighty-five. And Natalia and Shaki running first for Team Russia has the fastest clean run in this competition so far. Uh -huh. They beat Say by a tenth of a second. This is Anastasia Lobanova with Joker. No, it's not. No, it doesn't look like that. This is the fastest dog from yesterday. Stanislav. Stanislav Kurochkin with Zippy. He had an amazing time yesterday. He was the only handler to go under 33 seconds Look yesterday. how he saves the situation. He was behind the dog, but he managed to save it up. This doesn't look as fast as it is. Whoa. <laughs> Team Russia is on fire. Ooh, it's 30. getting hot in here. 34. Now, this is agility. 84. 36. Uh, 36.84. And here comes the, when he saves the whole situation. Look at that here. He's coming repeating. It is amazing. <laughs> wow, what the rear cross and another rear cross. I don't think Ooh. he planned that that way from the beginning, but he saved up the situation beautifully. So this must be Anastasia Lobanova with Joker. But Team Russia already with three clean runs and, and top great times. times. Can anyone beat them? I think it's going to be hard to beat Team Russia in this competition. Unfortunately, they had those 10 faults from yesterday, so they probably will have a problem in the total competition, but in this agility run, Oh, they are doing really nice. Their fourth dog is coming onto the finish line a with a clean, clean, clean run, 37-47. And Let's she, see if that places them in the top here. And Must she be. is giving them a better time than they had from before. So, wow. Team Russia. Look at that focus the dog is impressive. They are. As you can see, they are about 18 seconds faster than Team Brazil. <laughs> that is an amazing time. And, and, and clear, the and whole they team. they are clear. This is Team Colombia. So we have uh, uh, Team Colombia. Uh, they this start is not with Juliana, right? That doesn't look like a Juliana. It looks like it has to be David Rodriguez. I can't see the number from here. 172. 172. That is David Rodriguez, and he is running with his border collie, K. Unfortunately, an elimination there. So they have uh, uh, changed the order of the, uh, um, of the running course. So let's see here, we have number 170, oh, that is now Juliana, Juliana Blanco. A refusal on number three. She's running with the body call it Trek. And they have a little bit of confusion of where to go into the weaves here. So they pick up another refusal. The Colombian team is in distress here. They are under a lot of pressure with their dog, uh, Lila, that is still missing out there. And that obviously affects the whole team. We have a second elimination for Team Colombia. The Colombia, the Colombian team, they are only three participants. And we should have 171 exactly on the on the on the floor here now and that is Gabriela Ramirez. Gabriela bar. Ramirez is running with a Duende. This is a blue merle border collie.
Gets a fault on the long jump. And, and fault on the, on the wall. wall. Lucky the pieces are so soft. We do not get Another injuries drop from bar that kind of accident. And an elimination accidents. for taking the jump from the yeah. wrong side. And that leaves us with a total of, uh, they were all eliminated, I think. Yes. Unfortunately. Good job anyway, under the circumstances. We have Team Lithuania coming up. This is Algirdas Valkchukias with Rose. He also had a pretty good time from yesterday. He was placed eighth individually last uh, yesterday. Yesterday, yeah. In and the um, with a time of 33.76. <laughs> Look at that color he has. It's a little uh, a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> Rose. So focused. Look at those eyes. Beautiful dog. Very beautiful dog. Staying perfectly put until called upon. Nice. Oh, that was the first one we saw that, right? Or at least I. Yes. Taking the outside of the went tunnel. To the outside of the tunnel. But he also, he can run that guy. Handle dog on right. Had some hesitation into the weaves, but no faults picked up. Pushing to 13 and then blind crossing and oh. he got confused. He, he got did confused. Not, he didn't see that coming. He did not handle the way he had intended, I'm sure. It's very hard to just push the dog out on 12 and 13 and stay ahead. An elimination for Rose. We have Jolanta Janusaskien with Axis, a Belgian Grenendal. This dog is eight years old, and this is his last championship. Also beautiful dog. Yes. And well, I can't help, I'm quite biased with the Belgian Shepherds. Yes. Oh, 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 oh. oh. They both fall, but they seem okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. They recover. <laughs> and five faults on the seesaw. And the handler was yes. also in distress here when she, <laughs> when the dog fell over. Yolanta loves the breed, and she is so she excited to be here to show. But uh, oh, <laughs> she lost she her shoe. Lost her shoe when she fell down. <laughs> not, it's not her day today. No. We all cheer her out from the course yes. from here. <laughs> Beautiful axis in his last championship. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Look at them. Oh, well, you don't see that. And they oh. fall. And the dog falls. And the hand says, oh, my God, are you okay? And he is. But she loses her shoe. <laughs> On course now, we have an elimination from Redes Matsulius. And Grom. Having some trouble getting into the weaves. Well, They're they not really agree upon here how you should enter into the weaves. Oops. Uh, let's just not care about it, he says. <laughs> not the moment, not the time. Oh, the dog entered. There's not much working oh. for this team right now. He's trying to set the dog up for a good start so that they can get back into flow. Well, I think they, maybe they should. Unfortunately, they are not. It doesn't. He's trying his very best to find the flow. So three eliminations for Team Lithuania. The helpers are fixing the course, making sure it's ready for our last dog in Team Lithuania. That's Vitautas Kuobus with Uno, a border collie, four years old. 
And the Border Collie is, of course, the most, of course, I say we know it's the most represented dog here in the championship with the 179 entering Border Collies as a whole. The Border Collies are successful because they are athletic, fast, they love training, they love to work, they are easy to reward, and they're often willing to please. Some confusion, but he finds the weave entry. Nice exit out of the weaves. Wide turn. Careful seesaw. Dropped bar, unfortunately. He is on the wrong side, and he doesn't really know what to do there when he gets behind, and they are eliminated. When he noticed a bar that dropped down, he lost the focus. Yes. And it unfortunately and, pays and off he, in the he end. knows that his teammates all are eliminated so he probably just went for his individual run nicely handled there good job we have team netherlands coming up this is Susan Koldenhoff with time, four years old. This is a litter mate, a sister to Sylvia Turkman's two. Very successful litter. And Susan is the breeder. Judge is getting ready. The Netherlands that had it it's time five, five points five points as a fault as a whole yes. in yesterday's uh, run. It's time to go for time. She is excited. Susan leads out quite far. Drops the first bar unfortunately and is eliminated and time is just running. <laughs> She does not want to wait. Nice weave entry. Perfect seesaw. Very nicely handled there. She pushes out to 12, pushes to 13, but she isn't fast enough. And the dog takes the jump from the wrong side. That is a tricky sequence. Running contact coming up. Nicely handled there. Up into the A-frame and into the finish. Good job, unfortunately, elimination for Susan and time. Dropping the first bar, that is deflating. We have Esther Booth with Mojo. Red and tan border collie. Looking very intense at the start line. And fast. Now she has to run to. And she. That was uh, different. Well, she didn't she, make it. She tried a new. It could have worked. Thing, and it could have worked. <laughs> could have worked had she run a little bit faster. Could have worked. Yes. Beautifully. Nice seesaw. She's pulling to number 12, but the dog takes the wrong side of the jump and is eliminated. This is the ninth elimination in a row. We want to see a clean run now. <laughs> <laughs> it's an... Our third dog for Team Netherlands. This is Serv Godschalk with June. Can we please get a clean run? And we have another <laughs> elimination. Number 10 in a row. That was a beautiful weave entry. It was. 
from the wrong side, but it was yes. good though. He was looking to get there, and that's why he pulled the dog into the weaves instead of the tunnel. So he gambled, and it didn't pay off. The exciting thing about this course is that there are many sequences where things can go wrong, so both handlers, dogs and the audience has to be on their toes all the time. I think it's magic when the, the judge is really paying a lot of attention, a lot of efforts yes. to do a nice course for everybody to enjoy, even us at the yes. sides here. He is looking to get to the right side of the weaves and the dog doesn't read the tunnel. This is Henk Timmer with Feng, another border collie. And they nail the weave entry, rear crosses the weaves. Up onto the seesaw. Good seesaw, he is behind. Can he get that throttle? Yes, he does. Looking good so far. Pushes out on 12. Pushes out on 13, and he is ahead of the dog for the wall jump and tunnel. Looking good. He wraps up onto the dog walk. He gets a five faults on the dog walk contact, but he is not eliminated. Five faults for Hank and Feng. And now we are taking a break. We'll be back in five to ten minutes with Team Poland. I think we'll have results here for the individual run yes. here today. Let's see if uh, Might get some results we, can, up. we can get that up here on the screen. Uh, let's see if we can get some results. We have, uh, here we got some results. We have Russia in the lead with 110.96. Uh, we have Brazil in second place. We have Great Britain in third place, Hungary and Ukraine. And that is for the Team Agility Large. And as a whole, there has been 17 teams running. Only five teams have a result. And that is Russia in the lead, it's Brazil in second, it's Great Britain, Hungary and Ukraine. This is and the Russia combined. Is it only. This is the combined. This is combined, exactly. It says combined results. But I don't think Russia had 10 faults from yesterday, so this can't be correct. This is not correct. Russia had 10 faults yesterday. Okay, we're taking a break. We'll see you in a few minutes. Bye bye. We are ready to go. This is Team Poland. Alexander Gronek with Deal. Unfortunately, a refusal going into the weaves. They were fast and clean yesterday, placing eighth individual with a time of, no, fifth individual with a time of 33.59. So this is a very fast team. Beautiful handling. And she gets that rear cross on the wall jump. Such clever course design here. Five faults on the dog walk and then a refusal after the dog walk going around the jump. <laughs> Next dog for Team Poland is Monika Rilska with Chika. Chika is six years old. She won the individual agility run at the World Championships in 2015, and they are experienced. Unfortunately, she drops the first bar. Nicely into the weaves. Good seesaw. She pulls and blind crosses. That is very nice. Sending cheek on the wrap, and the running contact coming up. She misses that contact, unfortunately. So 10 faults for Chica and Monica. This is Applause, a young dog, only three years old, with Ivona Golab. She is 
the dog that's the sister to the Canadian blue-eyed border collie. This is looking good so far. What a nice seesaw. Into the tunnel. Pushing. And she gets there in time. That is pretty. So a wrap. And we have a running contact coming up. It's perfect. I really hope they make it so that we can see their time. Whoa. 37.48. That was a very nice run from this young dog. They are, however, just under a second slower than the Russian Sippy. I'm sorry, it's Shaki from Russia that has the best time so far. This is Magdalena Jowska with Mati. Nice rear cross into the tunnel. Onto the dog walk. He has a stopped contact. He hits the yellow. Up onto the A-frame. And a nice run. 39.86. Where does this put Poland? Poland goes into second place in this run with 10 faults and a time of 115.35. This is Germany, Anne Lenz with Chi. They were world champions two years ago individually in Spain. Very good team, perfect seesaw. She pulls to 13 and she rear crosses the wall jump. Nice wrap up into the dog walk. It's a running dog walk and it's very nice. We are looking at another clean run, I believe. 38.52. That is almost two seconds slower than the Russian dog. We have Jeremiah Simpson with Peach, the second dog on the German team. They were disqualified yesterday. He has some trouble getting into the weaves, but he's not faulted. Still clean. Nice seesaw. He drops a bar, and he drops another bar. Threadle, nice front cross to the wall jump. You have to be a very good handler and dog to get on the German team. They have so many good dogs. So 10 faults, 37.99 is a good time. Dog just drops both those bars. Unfortunate. Our third dog for Team Germany is European Open champion Max Prinz with Bex. This is a very young team. Max is only 18 years old. Bex is three years old, just turned three years old. This is their first world championship. And he's one of the favorites going into this competition. Perfect weave entry. Nice Very wrap. Nice. And a good seesaw. Just And that turtle again. Yes, he jumps into the wing of that jump, giving them five faults. It's one of very few bars that I've seen this dog drop. He's so consistent. Beautiful running contact. And a time of 37.45, five faults. And we 
have Anna Lenz coming up again, this time with her younger dogs, dog Itsy Bitsy, three years old. Also a very accomplished dog for such a young age. Refusal in the weave entry. Perfect seesaw. Nicely handled. She is pulling to 12, pulling to 13, and again rear crossing the wall jump. Some awkward jumping there, but mm. it's a bit see. Was good. It wasn't really clear on what the handler wanted her to do. No, so that, she looked at her. Yes, it's a very difficult rear because you get so close to the wall and the dog, which makes them slow down, and then they have to accelerate to go into the correct tunnel entry. Nicely done. Shame about that weave entry. We have Team China. They China, yes. They were clean on faults yesterday, but they got some time faults. They got Three, some time faults. 364, exactly. 364 time faults. This is Kisu Song with Shasha. A red border collie. It's a different color than the browns. And yesterday we were talking about the development in China in agility, which has been amazing too. Yes, they are up and coming. They are new to the World Championships. They have been here since 2011 and they are improving every year. I think we will see China in the top within a few years. They are here to learn and they will get better. Five faults on the dog walk, unfortunately. Very nicely handled there. Nice A-frame. 44.92 with five faults. We have Yao Qiang with Burton coming up. Another border collie from China. Excited to go. A large border collie here. Yes. Nice entry. Very nice entry. Off into the seesaw. Good seesaw. Will he make, oh, he blinds, double blind. That's the first time I've seen that and he nails it. Push, push, wow, this is a good handler, very fast. I wonder where they get their inspiration from, from the world, all the worldwide uh, handlers yes, out there that are I flying know, around all over. I know that um, Isabel and Juni from Sweden have been to China to teach. Probably they bring in other instructors as well to get inspiration from the best. Five faults for Burton. Very nicely executed, those double blinds. Mm -hmm. Interesting solution. Yes. We have a very pretty split-faced border collie coming up. This is a Zheng Tang with Senkwan Robin. <laughs> Looks like a little panda. That's such a pretty dog. Oh, he is almost, almost he managed yes. to get in there. A refusal and then a nice rear cross when he gets the dog into the correct entry. Nice seesaw. He pulls, but mm. the dog doesn't see the jump. He gets a refusal <laughs> and then that's an awkward entry to the long jump. He drops one of the side poles on the oh. long jump, but that is not a fault. But when he steps onto the dog walk, he is eliminated. So, but so far, China has two dogs through with five faults each. So, if the last dog from Team China can avoid that elimination, that can give them a good placement because we don't have a lot of teams that are getting through this course. Our last dog from China is named Jinyuno with Kishu Zong. It's the same handler that ran a red border collie first. He has two of them. Oh, he gets that blind, but will he get the weave entry? He does. And he gets Perfect. around. It's all up to him now. 
Will he get Team China through both runs? Beautiful. They are really doing a great job here, yes. China. They are not the fastest team, but on this course, just getting around it can give you a good placement, and that would be a good thing for China. Up onto the dog walk. He gets yeah, five, five faults, faults but I believe... Oh. oh, come on, come on, keep going. Ten faults, total of 20 faults for China. And, and another drop bar. bar. So a total of 20, 30... I'm not sure anymore, but they are through. We have Team Portugal. They have just 0.14 time faults from yesterday. We have Portugal coming up, exactly. Uh, Julio Rodriguez is already on course uh, with his Belota. Nice pull to that jump. Pulling again. Pulling. And blind crossing. Oh, a little bit of hesitation here. Yes, but he gets through nicely. And let's see Five the dog walk. so far. A oh. little bit of a jump. Another five faults picked up on the dog walk. I think they're lacking a little bit of security when running, so that might be the source, the reason for the hesitations. Ten um, faults. Ten faults. Uh, we have results. Russia first, Poland second, Germany third. And we got China on 25 faults. But they were clean with some time faults yesterday. So that might put them higher in the combined. We have Sergio Sosa mm -hmm. running nice. already with his dog, Cat. Nice weaves. Sosa. They are a uh, frequent name here in, uh, at these kind of competitions. They're really good on agility in Portugal. Very nice thriddle. He pushes nicely over 12 and 13. Let's see what he's doing here on the dog walk. Uh, very nice running. They're doing great he so is far. Clean. And yes. a clean run. 37 25 is a good time. That is a really good time. It didn't look that fast, no. but it was a nice time. So we are having the third team member of the Portuguese uh, Portuguese team, and that is Isabel Guedes. And she's running with Kira, a border collie. Very concentrated dog. Totally in focus. Ooh, she, she, jumped, she jumped too, too early. Yes, she. this dog takes off Beautiful very early. Beautiful weave entry. entry. Beautiful entry. Up onto the seesaw, and that's five faults. And she's uh, lost. She's oh. lost at the course. Dog took that jump from the wrong side, and it's eliminated. She got lost at the course, and, uh, and the dog started hesitating, and yes. then they are gone. And this dog is really hesitating on the jumps, and she was not sure about the wall jump. Hmm. Three members of the Portuguese, in Portugal, Portuguese team has run. We have the fourth one, which is also from the Sosa family, Luis Sosa. Yes, and we have only we have one elimination. Human. So if this next dog... Oh, oh it's jumping dog. very early. Yes. If this next dog avoids an elimination, they are still in the competition for the combined results. And here we have a season very seasoned, experienced um, agility handler, Luis Sosa, and Lash drops, the, drops first the first bar. bar. Spins in front of the weave. He doesn't get a fall for that, though. Judge looked like he was hesitating a bit. He yeah. raised the hand, and then he loaded again. Then he gets five faults on the, the um, teeter. Yes. Threddling, blind crossing, over the wall jump, into the tunnel. Up onto the dog walk. And, and he gets he five faults there too. Jumps the contact. Yeah. Nice.
Nicely done. He gets through with 15 falls, and that keeps Portugal in the combined results. We are now going into the teams that are clean from yesterday. This is Luxembourg. Raymond Rossi with EC. Another border collie. Yeah. <laughs> they came on the 14th place yesterday with their clean runs. Now let's see what they do here today. Oh, they get the entry with some hesitation, but no fault. Oh, a little Hes bit of hesitation there on the foot. And the judge calls a refusal for that hesitation. He is strict on refusals. Nicely pushed, 12 to 13. Up onto the dog walk. He gets the contact, no problems there. Line cross. Five faults for Raymond and EC. And here we get the results so far, the combined results, and that still has Russia in the lead. We have Poland in second place. Russia now has the updated results of 10 faults, and Poland has 15 faults on second place. Germany, 15 faults, two. Here we have the only Dutch Shepherd dog in this competition. It's an exciting breed to see. Yeah. Anna Winkel with common. Hoodie. Beautiful colors. Striped dog. Drops a bar on 13. Probably she didn't get out of the way. And she just gets the contact. The dog is looking at the tunnel, but he is on track. Five faults so far for Hoodie. Nice apron yes. there. Another five faults for Luxembourg. Our third dog is Kelpie. Busy B, six years old, with Julie Selmar, third dog in Team Luxembourg. <laughs> nice seesaw, good handling there. And she pulls to 12, pulls to 13, and front crosses very tightly. That was nice. Very nice. You have to do that pull and front cross almost in the same movement to get that tight turn, and she nailed it. And she is coming uh -huh. over the A-frame. She gets five faults on the A-frame. Oh, that's a pity. Another five faults for Team Luxembourg. So if they wanna, want a better result, then our last competitor needs to go clean. And this is Mike Peter with Limit. Oh, he's a fast runner. Very and fast. And he almost he gets crashes the into the dog. Yes, and he gets around the weaves nicely. Very nice. Up onto the seesaw. Mm. And that's a fault. That's a fault. That's a clear fault. Yes, the seesaw needs to and touch the ground. Another fault on the long jump. The seesaw needs to touch the ground before the dog leaves it. So his result of 10 faults so far, 15 faults now, will not be counted. Luxembourg has 15 faults total in this run. <laughs> All right. We are we are flying to South Africa. Flying to South Africa. They've had a long flight to get they here. Sure did. Yes. This is Rob Hall with Milo, a five-year-old border collie, and this is his first agility dog. Amazing to get to this level of competition that quickly. This are this is their second time at the World Championships.
No fault on the seesaw. But the dog takes the start jump instead of the long jump. <laughs> That was a new one. We didn't see that one coming either. It was, but sometimes it's more difficult for the dogs to commit to a long jump than to a regular jump. Mm -hmm. So elimination for the first dog in Team South Africa. And remember, these teams are clean from jumping. So anything can happen here. You want to collect those clean runs to get into the lead. Luxembourg goes into fifth place in this run. Russia is still the only team with a clean result from the agility run. Second in Team South Africa is Leandre van der Mer with Savvy. Nice weave entry. Front crossing out of the weaves. Nice seesaw. Pulling, but the dog misses that jump. He doesn't see it, and he takes the wrong jump. They are eliminated as well, which means that South Africa has two eliminations, and they are not in the running for world champions. Nice running contact, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the dog goes straight to that jump in front of him. Oy. Quite a few of the dogs, they are flying over the uh, A-frame, the top of the A-frame. Yes. Doesn't look... We've had some... Doesn't look too good, that. Uh, very, they come in a, in a fast speed. Yes. Okay, we have Rage with Wayne Arniel. Border Collie, this one is born in Croatia, I believe. I think the South Africans are importing some dogs from Europe. They must have a limited gene pool, pool in South Africa, so some importing from Europe helps them. But he gets the wrong side of eight, yep. and they are eliminated as well. He's trying to get back on track with Rage. Line crossing to the wall jump. Going up onto the dog walk. Nice contact. Just three obstacles to go, but he is eliminated. Nice stop there. Okay, so our last dog from Team South Africa is only running for her own results and for her own fun because the rest of the team are eliminated. This is a five-year-old Border Collie. It's also imported. This one is from the United Kingdom. And the name's Esprit with Tracy Beautiful Lander. Beautiful and drink. And she is running to get a good time here. Nice seesaw. Very nicely handled there. Perfectly handled. Very nice communication with the dog. Yes, but some miscommunication. You don't say that. No, <laughs> and a fourth elimination for Team South Africa. Nice stop contact, and it might be an advantage for the handlers to make sure the dog really stops on the contacts. She even sends her dog back to the A-frame to make sure he remembers criteria before the individual runs Here we have. We are getting closer to the top ten here. This we see the Danish supporters. We saw the Danish supporter in the, on the screen. Here we have a repetition of the latest run. Yes. We have Team Denmark. This is Shani Elmstedt with May Day with a beautiful weave entry. Good seesaw, but she drops the number nine jump and she even touches the first wow. wing of that jump. Very fast. Handling this is here. a very fast dog with a running contact coming up. Beautiful. Beautiful. She has the rear cross, number ooh, 20, ooh, ooh, and the dog back ooh. jumps. An unfortunate elimination for Denmark. She gets behind, she needs the rear cross, but the dog doesn't read the rear cross and back jumps. A pity there, she's a really good hander. 
Chen. Good handler, good dog. Next up, Paul Lerke with Nala. They are experienced. And Denmark obviously wants clean runs to stay in the game. He gets the weave entry. We didn't expect less there. No, nice flick to number six. Steady seesaw, will he get that jump? Yes, he does. Even though he's behind, his experienced dog understands what to do. Again, and then he oh, refuses he pulls, the yeah, wall. He pulls the dog. He was going on the, on the right. Here. He was going on the right side of the wall jump to rear cross into the tunnel, but yep. the dog came with him. Good contact. Let's keep running. And it's pretty. A total of five faults could still bring Denmark high on the combined scores. So five faults for Paul and Nala. He pulls the dog too much. And the wall jump is also something that the dog doesn't see as often as a normal jump. And it can be difficult to get them to commit. We have our third dog, Spotty, with Morten Julhansen. Perfect weave entry. Will he get around the weaves? No, he's flicking to number six nicely. Nice seesaw. Good jumping Ooh, on nine, but he refuses the long yes. jump. So another refusal for Denmark. He's pushing nicely over the wall into the tunnel. Nice wrap, getting on the dog walk. And he nails that contact. Not the fastest run, but we need steady to get around this course. Five faults, 44.99. And the last team member here. Last team member is Angrit Gravlundkrat with DJ, a Blue Merle Border Collie. They are also very experienced. But they dropped the second bar, and I think the dog was about to start before she told it to, so she started earlier than she had expected. Let's say that nicely. Wide turn, though. No faults on the seesaw. Pulling to 12, pulling to 13, and then trying to rear Ooh. across the wall jump. And elimination. Dog didn't read her there either. She, he was going for the tunnel. Yes. And they had a conflict there. It's and a difficult rear cross on is. the wall jump. This means that Denmark has two eliminations and they are unfortunately out of the combined results. We have Team USA coming up. They are obviously clean from yesterday. This is a Malinois named Luna with Shane Miller. We are crossing the weaves. Nice turn on six. Good seesaw. Nice throttle. And he gets the long jump, which he should, because this dog also does dock diving and can jump over seven meters into the water. This looks great so far. An athlete's dog, for sure. Yes, and an athletic handler. Beautiful. Nice running contact for Shane and Luna. Just two obstacles to go. Will he get the A-frame? Yes. yes. Clean <laughs> run, 39-32. Very nice, very nice run there. Yes, beautiful dark Malinois. Seven and a half years old. So we have Desiree Snellman with crew. And this dog is five years old. Desiree is a very experienced handler. She has a bronze medal individually with her older dog. Aww. But she misses the weave entry twice. Keep it together. She rear crosses the weaves once she gets the dog in. And she trusts that seesaw, and she should, because it was beautiful. Very nicely handled. Powerful dog. She pulls, and then she has to rear cross the wall jump, but she does that nicely. And perfect communication between them two. Yes. Up onto the dog walk. And she has a stopped contact. 
Very good. She has a rear cross, number 20, and the dog Looking, turns ooh. the wrong way, but recovers. There we go. And so Very two nice. refusals, 10 faults for Desiree and crew. So if Team USA wants to stay clean, the next two dogs need to go clean. We have Jeff Bothello coming up with Matrix, four-year-old Border Collie. Oh, he started too early and uh, then they, they, they... We have a broken start line yep. leading to an elimination. And the hander is not happy. No. Remember to train your start lines, people. Yeah. You'll need them. You will need them on the World Championship also. So it didn't start too well for but them. This and looks great. Now they have got the act together and yes. they are working together as a team. It's so hard to recover from a broken start line when you get behind and you can't do the things that you have planned for. Dropped far there, but beautiful handling. Okay, this means that Daisy Peel and Frodo are last team from USA need to get around this course without an elimination to keep Team USA in the combined standings. She did uh, get a clean run in the yesterday's um, tryouts. Yes, Daisy so is experienced. She is an experienced hand, exactly. She's unfortunately eliminated there as Frodo takes number three from the wrong side. But as the experienced handler she is, she doesn't She doesn't uh, uh, stop the dog. She continues as if nothing has happened. And yes. uh, to be able to reward the dogs, all the other obstacles he did great during this course. Yes. Frodo is also a European dog imported to the USA. And interestingly, he has a stopped contact, but she was famous for being one of the first um, with a running contact in the World Championships with her older dog, Solar. Maybe it's a new trend. Yeah. So. <sighs> Team Slovakia coming up. And they were placed 10 yesterday. So we're up to the final 10 teams. The top 10 teams here now. It's getting excited. Getting this excited. is Anna Pospisilova with Roka. <laughs> and a refusal. Another refusal on the third obstacle. But the dog didn't take the jump from the wrong side. He just refused, so they are still running without an elimination. Up onto the seesaw, oh. and that is a fault. The seesaw has to hit the ground before the dog leaves. Nicely handled. Will she get the rear? Beautiful rear. Ra nice wrap. Running contact. He's in the yellow. Woo. Mm -hmm. Ten falls for Anna and Roca. We have Karin Popovicova with Blaze coming up. This is their first world championship. Must be amazing to go into the final knowing that you were clean yesterday. Dropped bar, unfortunately. Pulling to 13 and front crossing very nicely to the wall jump. And she gets faulted on the dog walk. The dog was hesitating on the way down and then jumped off the yellow. So we have 10 faults for Blaze. Next up, we have another first world championship. This is Veronica K 
Kralikova with B, and Veronika is only 16 years old. Oh, look, look at, look at her look at running. running. Wow. wow. And run, now run, she run, needs run, to get run, back, run, and run. She, yes, she will. She did it. Those young legs can run. Nice seesaw. Perfect. She's wow. really going for the whole thing here now. Yes. No hesitation. She's perfect behind. communication. She? Oh, no. Oh. She couldn't. And you can really see how the dog was like, oh, the tunnel. And she <laughs> And again. That is too bad. And it was again. A nice run. <laughs> this dog really loves tunnels, I think. Yeah. She just got behind and she couldn't get that the dog to look at the wall jump instead of the tunnel. She had a beautiful start though. The first half of the course was yes. amazing. And she can run, as can her dog. Nice. Okay, we have one more team from Slovakia. And he needs to get a result to keep their team in the combined results. But if anyone can do it, it should be Pavel. This dog is mm. so experienced. Won gold at the World Championships in 2015, but they have a refusal in the weaves. And, and a, drop, a bar. drop bar. And another one. Something is going on here. Into the tunnel. Up onto the dog walk. He gets the contact. And 15 faults for Pavel and Fiona. Coming up is Team Finland. This is Janita Leinonen with Fu. Fu is seven years old and very experienced, as is Janita. They were in the team that won Team Silver in 2016. She is looking at that tunnel, but she goes in the weaves. This is a loud dog. You might think she's crazy all the time, but Janita says she's really the easiest dog around the house. And then she gives her everything on the course. She's rear crossing the wall jump, and nicely so. Still clean, up onto the dog walk. They have a stopped contact, and she nails it. She has the rear cross, and she gets a wide turn, but she turns the right way over the A-frame, and they are clean with a time of 41.71. Exactly. Their place. The position yesterday after yesterday's jump was ninth. So we're really getting in the top ten here now. Yes. Next dog is Tulia Liuto with Pirtu. Pirtu is eight and a half years old. She's the oldest dog on this team. This is experience in action. And they actually have a pretty good time yesterday. Best one of the team. Yes. Members. And a beautiful. Dog. Yes, really nice. Mm. Up onto the seesaw. Good seesaw. Pulling, and she's mm. almost hesitating there. Looking for the jump, but she finds mm. it. And this is what an experienced dog can, how they can save you by finding a jump over the wall jump into the tunnel. Nice wrap there. And a stop dog walk. She's on the contact. Beautifully handled there. Are we looking for another clean run for team? Finland. Yes, we are. 41 29. Very nice. Two clean runs for Team Finland. And now the pressure is on. The pressure is on for sure. We have two, two team members left. Another Finish clean team. run for Finland would put them into the combined lead. This is Nina Lina Lina with Thor. Thor is the youngest dog on this team at four years. Big, powerful Big, male dog. Big, powerful, yeah. Does she end oh. a refusal? She tried too the hard. The second one. Yes. She just ran so far up, she pushed the dog around the first pole. Like On to the seesaw. Nice seesaw. Very nice threadle. Keeping the bars up. Pushing to 12. And mm. then pulling and front crossing 13. Very nice handling. 
beautiful handling. She is a really nice, a really good handler. Yes, and it gets the contact, Successful. the stop contact. Nice blind there, just two obstacles to go. And we have 10 faults for Nina, 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 and Thor. So, it's all up to Kim Kurkinen with Zorro, the Belgian Drenendal on the Finnish team. He's seven years old, he's experienced. They have a very nice start routine. Yes. So Zorro gets a kiss from his handler, and off he Looking goes. Looking very focused, both of them. Can he make a clean run and put Finland into the lead? He's running hard to get that weave yes. entry, and he nails it. And he positions himself very nicely in there. In control for that wrap. And he gets faulted on the seesaw, and, and the then hand gets some focus. eliminated for taking number eight from the wrong side. This gives Finland a total of ten faults, and I'm actually not sure where that puts them in total, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. We don't have many clean teams, so this might still be a decent result for them. They are fourth in total with 10 faults or in this run, but where that puts them in the total standing, I don't know. Russia has 10 faults, so they are obviously ahead by about 18 seconds. But it should put them ahead of Germany that had faults from yesterday. We have Belgium coming up. We have a dropped bar there. Unfortunately, he goes to the right side of the weaves and he gets that entry. That was beautiful. This is Keen. Drop bar. I think he was faulted on the seesaw. Yes, he was. This That's is so. not Keen, this is Gem with Mark Van Beek from Belgium. They are eliminated. So, next up. We have standings. The, for the for this run, we have Russia in lead. We have Poland second on ten faults and third. I didn't Germany. Oh, Germany, yes, yes. Exactly. Also, ten, also with ten faults. This is Keen with Olivier Monert. They are clean so far. Push, pulling, dropping a bar. So five faults at least for Team Belgium as they have an eliminated dog. Beautiful running contact. Yes. <laughs> so five faults, 37-12 is a good time. Third dog for Team Belgium is Sally Andrews with Orville. That dog is excited to get going. Look at that. <laughs> nice start. Will she make it to the weave entry? Well, the dog does it on his own. She really trusted the weave entry, so her dog, and she made an effort to stay longer to assure that he could take the number three from the right side. This is a well-trained dog and it's looking great so far. Nice. Will she get that rear? Yes, she does. Coming towards the dog walk. Beautiful, Beautiful running contact. Beautiful. The dog turns the wrong way, but that only takes some time for them. They are so clean. Another huge turn. And he, uh, but he is clean. 41 38. So, still only five faults total for Team Belgium. But it's all up to Louis Cusimano with Molly. They have to get 
through this course to stay in the total standings. Beautiful, Beautiful weave entry. entry. Nice exit from the weaves. Nice seesaw. Nice treadle. This is looking good. Treadle, and he's going for the rear. No problem there. Finishing with only five faults is a really good result on this course. Would take them to second place. And they do it. 39 seconds. This puts Belgium into second place in this competition. And what that means for their total result, I would guess it puts them very high, but I, I don't have the combined results. This is Japan. This is Hiroshige Yamazaki with Lacey. Looking good so far. Oh, drops a bar. He hits that wing on number nine that so many has hit. Coming up on the dog walk. He gets that contact very nicely, a stopped contact. Line crosses, he's in control. 39-32. Five faults. That jump is so difficult. So many dogs hitting the wings of number nine. We have Meirion Yamame with... No, that's the dog's name. We have Kazuto Kishimoto with Yamame. Six-year-old Border Collie. Very fast. Oh, he's also fat. When it, well, now they... He's having some trouble Tumbling getting to into other. the weaves, but they are still clean. Nice seesaw. Very nice treadle to nine. Into the tunnel, and he's pushing 12, pushing 13, it's and he gets out of the way good. over the wall jump. This is very nice. Up onto the dog walk. He gets the up contact. He has a stop contact, and he is in the yellow. Just three obstacles to go. And he's clean, 41-54. And we have Coming the Japanese up. supports in the, in the, on the, um, uh, among the public here. We have Takami Omo with Taki. Four-year-old Border Collie, the youngest one on this team. He takes the wrong side of number three. And that means that Team Japan has a result of five faults or worse in this run. It's now all up to Conan who was third individual yesterday. So a really fast dog who often goes clean. This is exciting. Very powerful dog, unfortunately goes to the wrong side of three. So, Conan with Masanori Kaitoda. Six years old, very experienced, had some great runs at the European Open, very fast times. Will he get the weave entry? Yes, he it does. Is. Very nice, perfectly done. And he ah. goes to the wrong side of six, and he is eliminated as well. The dog took some initiatives here by himself. Very nice seesaw. This unfortunately means that Team Japan is out of the total competition. They had such nice runs yesterday. Clean run for the team, but today two eliminations means that they are out of the total competition.
We have a very interesting team coming up. This is Team Croatia, where Shelkogora will run two of the dogs. Shelko is running Gunga, his Malinois. And he goes nicely into the weaves. Very nice tight turn for such a big dog. Good seesaw. And he misses the long jump, and he is eliminated. What a shame. Gunga, at seven and a half years, is the oldest dog on this team. Beautiful. Must be very interesting to train uh, running contact on such a long strided dog. Yes. Not an easy task. We have a Croatian sheepdog coming up. Buha, four years old, with Anja Blacevic, and she's only 14 years old. Can you believe that? She's running fast. Does the dog find the entry? Mm -hmm. No, she gets a refusal. Nice seesaw. Finds the long jump. And she's pulling to 12, pulling to 13, and blind crossing to the wall jump. That was nicely done. Coming up on the dog walk. And yeah, a nice, nice stop. <laughs> Only 14 years old, this handler. Beautiful. Nice run. 43 10 with the refusal in the weak poles. We have an interesting dog coming up. It's Nina Gregel with Vis. And she was fourth individual yesterday, so very fast. She's had some really fast, setting the fast, fastest times at World Championships before. This is her comeback after having an injured, broken toe. The dog. The dog, yes. Oh, but she misses pretty. the weave entry as well. Nice seesaw, wrong side of eight, and they are eliminated, which unfortunately means that Team Croatia has two eliminations and will not be in the runnings for world champion combined. Yeah, the combined results really require that you do a great first run and also a great second run if you want to be in the lead, obviously. Yes, so we will have a very exciting final with this difficult agility course. Coming up, Shelko Gora again, this time with a border collie named Tama. Shelko has a lot of experience. He's a judge. He's been doing agility for 27 years. He's also a very popular instructor here in Sweden. Yes. Comes, comes every summer and have a seminar with, together with Gemini Dam. Yes, it's it's looking good so far. What a nice seesaw. He's really pushing the dog here. Yes, he is going for a good oh. time. And he's pushing, pushing. And he makes it very nice. Michel is not a small person, he said. No, tall. and you can see he you really see he has is to struggling. run. Yes. Whoa. Wow. He's pumping his arms to go as fast as he can to keep up with Tama. And he's doing it. 37-45. Yeah. Can we get some oxygen in here for Shelko? <laughs> Very nice. Very nice run. Beautiful to see how the dog and the hand are fighting together to get to the last obstacle. Those pushes are hard. We are at Team Austria. And only five teams left. This is an Australian Shepherd called Juno with Katharina Koenig, first dog from Team Austria. And she gets the wrong side of number three and is eliminated, which puts a lot of pressure on the rest of the team. This is her first world championship. And 
Team Austria made it 103.33 in time. Yesterday put them in the fifth place. And between the, what, the top five, I mean, there's only one second. It's all going to be it's decided in this run. Combined standings, still not correct though, because Russia has 10 faults. So let's look at the combined results. Belgium, five faults in the lead. Oh, and Russia second. This is Anke Bauer with Leah. She has a refusal. Australian Kelpie, very nicely handled. Independent dog, she gets far ahead for the pulls and she rear crosses the wall jump into the tunnel very nicely. And unfortunately, an elimination. So two eliminations for a team Austria means that they are out of the combined standings and team Belgium is in the lead. Team Belgium is in the lead total. Russia is in the lead in this run being the only team with four clean runs and even the only team with three clean runs. We have a refusal here for Sisi Graf in Ger Germany. Jeremy from Austria. Big stride, the dog. Unfortunately, going to the wrong side. And we have a third elimination for Team Austria. It is a tough time here. We are talking about the top five uh, teams. After Austria, we have France, we have uh, Latvia, we have Sweden and Italy that's running the last team. It's very exciting in here. It's really getting hot in here. Yes. And we are so excited about what fourth, we have in front of us. Fourth dog for team Austria is Lisa Frick with Jack. And Jack and Lisa won the silver at the European Open this summer. They were seventh individual in yesterday's run with a time of 33.66. This is looking very good. Nice Perfect. seesaw. Perfect. And he oh, pulls no. into her and goes to the wrong side of eight, which means that all of Team Austria are eliminated. But this is a team to look out for in the individual runs this weekend because they are fast and look they are that. experienced. Look at that dog. Lisa nice. has won the world championships four times with her older dog, Paws. That is a record that I think is hard to beat. Combined, res oh, combined, uh, combined result with German top. That's really nice. Russia second, Finland third, Poland fourth, and Germany on fifth place. Team France coming up. There's actually Ad no clean run, uh, a whole team. No, no team that is clean. So if you, we have a clean team, they will go into the lead. This is Adrien Grespier with Gumball. Refusal. They can still get into first place with five faults if they are faster than Belgium. And obviously they have a better time from yesterday than Belgium has. But a refusals take time. That takes more time than say a drop bar. Gets the contact. Blind crosses 220 in control over the A-frame. And five faults, 42.08. Unfortunate refusal there for Team France. Our next team is Anthony Guimont with Inox. 
And the dog breaks its start line, and he really has to run, but he's fast. Oh. He gets an, uh, oh, that is two refusals. Three, Three refusals, refusals, and he's out. Oh. That That's is a pity. The start line we were talking about. Oh. Yes. Too bad. This, this is a moment of excitement. <laughs> this means that Team France has got five faults at the least. They need to be faster than Team Belgium to get into the lead. Nice even, running contact there. Even the dogs are losing on their discipline and, and they uh, they just they just want to run. Nicely done. Broken start line there. He gets him behind and he doesn't make it to the weave entry. The dog is confused and gets two refusals. We have Michel Weber with Hindi. They have to run clean if they want to bring mm. And a third dog that refuses the weave pulse. This means that they have to run against Russia on time. And I can tell you already that they won't beat Russia on time. So they are maybe running for third place now. Missed contact on the dog walk gives them another five faults. We have Belgium in the lead total. We have Russia on second place, place in the total competition. And Russia is the only team that has run clean in this agility course. Last dog for Team France is Haston with Christophe Dalma. He's running fast to get to that weave entry. Beautiful and this entry. Time Team France gets it. And unfortunately, another elimination for Team France, which means that they are out of the combined. Competition. Well, actually, he did point the right direction. He did tell the dog what to do, but the dog didn't read him, and they they jumped the obstacle from the wrong side. Beautiful. We see quite a lot of those misunderstandings, and I think people are training a lot of thraddles, pulling the dogs in with very little physical help and a lot of verbal help, which sometimes can get the dogs confused. They think they are correct. We are at the top three teams. This is Team Latvia. This is Natalia Loginova with Chile, a three-year-old dog. They were clean yesterday. They had a good time. They were ninth individual, but they missed the weave entry as well and gets a refusal. We are looking at split seconds here. The third team, Latvia, has 102.80 in time. The second, 102.76, and the leading team, Italy, 102.09. So we're really talking really mar uh, small margins here when, we in, in, when we're talking time. Five faults on the dog walk, and I think this won't be... The time won't be the problem here. It's getting your team around this course clean that will get you the gold. Oof, so unfortunate. We have the second dog for Team Latvia. This is Karina Grigore with Gepa. Gepa is very keen on starting. Yes. Red Merle Border Collie. Nice start. Will she get the weave entry? Yep. Yes. Nice. Very tight turn. Oh, she touches the wing, but it stays up. No fault so far for Karina and Gepa. But oh, she gets the wrong side of jump number 13 and is eliminated. Well, 
the excitement, team. The Swedish fans are getting ready because getting Sweden ready is up cheering. next, but we have two more dogs from team Latvia. Next up, Jekaterina Akimova with Shori, a two-year-old dog. And a refusal. That weave entry is hard. Mm, another, another refusal. <laughs> it's a difficult weave entry for a two-year-old dog. It's difficult for most dogs here. She pushes out on 12, pushes out on 13. That is beautiful. Very nice line there. Coming up on the dog walk. She really presses her dog. Nice running contact. Very nice handling. Beautiful. Yep. Unfortunately, two refusals for Yekaterina and Shori. We have our last dog from Latvia. It's Svetlana Kreslina with Salsa coming up. They were number one in the individual jumping last year at the World Championship, so they are fast. But she almost sends the dog in the tunnel. No fault collected there, just time. Nice seesaw. Very nice line there. She is pushing to 12, pushing to 13, and she's way ahead of her dog, giving her a nice line into tunnel. Oh, she almost, the dog almost turned the wrong way. Beautiful covered. running Very contact. Nice. Beautiful handling. She beautiful is run. still clean, but she had that big turn before the weave, so 38.99. And now, now we have Sweden. Sweden is coming up. We are very excited. The crowd is so nervous. Yanidam and Lily first out. A beautiful handling. Let's see what she can do in the weaves. And she, she nails, nails it. it. Marina is. And Jenny's running with two dogs on this team. Look at that. Beautiful. Perfect wow. handling. Come on, Jenny. A little bit of a wide turn. That she, doesn't matter. All that, that matter perfect? is going clean. Is this perfection or not? No! Why did I say that? Oh, man. <laughs> that should not be possible. <laughs> oh, that is a pity. She's so what tight. Happened? I hope we get that in. We need to see that again. We She's that so again. tight. Yes. She's turning the wrong way there, but Jenny is getting ready to run save last in this team. So it's all up here we'll to. Get the, here we get the repeat. And, She's and going so tight. She didn't go for what did she? She doesn't. Jenny didn't do anything there to. This pull is her out the a line. very young dog, Ebba Eriksson with Jazz. Run. Hey, oh. and we Team are Sweden are out of the combined competition with two eliminations. Team Belgium next to me are cheering because they are still in the lead. They are happy. Look at that handling though, they are really handling perfectly. This is such a good young dog. It's only three years old. Eba is doing a great job at her first world championship. Now we have the third dog. And third we hand. are getting ready for Yoni Urianius and Nela. Yoni really doesn't need any presentation either, as, as does not Jenny uh, need. They're great handers. Yoni is well going for it. Beautiful and just pulling his dog into the weaves. He's so fast, he's so well connected with Nila. He gets the seesaw. No fault. We have some white turns there, here. but he is now they're back. so focused. Oh, wow. look at that. Isn't that beautiful. <laughs> Whoa, what's the name of that turn? I Did you don't turn? know. <laughs> she gets Very the contact. Nice. They are still clean. Come on, Yoni. 
He's taking it easy. Yes. 40 49. Yes. Clean run. Clean run for Yoni. And Not that it helps run. here, but a beautiful run. This is, the, uh, this is the standings here with it's Russia in top, zero fault, Belgium second, Poland third, Germany fourth. And we have Jenny Dam and Siv coming up. Siv is so excited. This is her first world championship. She's four years old. And I'm sure Jenny is very ready to, to come back here. With yes, she wants a comeback. Run. Very nice weaves, perfect turn. Nice pushing. seesaw. And She's pushing nice. for speed. Very nice handling here. Double fast. blinds over the wall jump. And now Jenny for sure will be looking at Siv to make sure she gets the dog walk. Very nice. Nice running. She is clean. Oh, no! no! We have a refusal. Five falls for Jenny and Siv. Very nice handlers. And we have the first team here, the leading team. I'm sure they are pretty nervous here now. And I'm sure Belgium next to us are very, very nervous because they are still in the lead with five faults. Italy coming up. This is Nicola Girardi with Eira. And they were... Oh! They are eliminated. They were the fastest clean dog yesterday at 33-22, but they are eliminated now, which puts a huge amount of pressure on the rest of the team. But he's playing good. He's, he's winning or disappearing, and uh, and that's the way it is on the World War Chance Championship. Yes. Such an exciting final. And Team Russia came back. Ten falls yesterday. They are now in second place. They will get a medal. Will it be Italy or Belgium? We have three dogs left for Italy, and they need, they need, they can get five falls, but they need to be faster than Belgium to take the gold. Valentina Bustero with Fiona. This arena goes silent. Will she get the weave entry? She does, she rear crosses the weaves. This looks good. Up onto the seesaw. Good seesaw, but she's behind. Can she get that jump? She does. Into the weave. She wants to push to 12. She blind crosses and front crosses 13. Very nice. This is looking good so far. Up onto the dog walk. Get that contact. She gets five falls. So now it's about time. Will they, if they keep those five faults, they need to be faster than Belgium. Which they were yesterday, so they have some time. So five faults for Fiona. Eira eliminated, two dogs to go, and they need to go clean and fast to beat clean Belgium. And fast. Clean and fast. This is Sara Panaz Panazato with Alyssa. She's starting very Will she well. Get the, she gets a refusal. This means that Belgium Belgians are, are here world champions. <laughs> and it also means that Russia takes the silver. I see some tears here on the Belgium side of the supporter ring here. Uh, they are already celebrating. But we still have we one have dog one to more go. dog to go for Team Italy. I, they could still still take the bronze with 10 falls and a good time. So Alberto Bargamasco with Brie will be the last dog in this competition. They look focused, running fast. Go, oh, Alberto. Mm. And another refusal in those weaves. Beautiful seesaw. Nicely handled there. 
pushing to 12, pushing to 13, and oh, he doesn't get out of the way. The dog takes the wing and gets another five faults. Let's make sure the helper gets out of the way. Okay. He does. So, I'm excited to see the we have everyone for the Belgium team here, the team and the supporters. But our winning the Belgians the are so happy. We are happy for them. With five faults, they take the gold. We have Russia second and probably Finland third. In in this class, we have Russia taking the gold for the agility run, Belgium second, and Poland takes the bronze for the team agility run. Combined? Combined, we have... We need to wait for the combined results. Yeah, I think, think I know, but I want to make sure I'm correct. Now let's see here. We know that... Right. We know second, that yeah. Belgium takes the gold, Russia takes silver. I think Finland takes the bronze, but we'll have to wait and see. We don't. We will have to wait. We don't. Let's take a look at Team Belgium. Team Belgium, five faults total. Olivier Monert with Keane, Louis Kusumanu with Molly, Mark Van Beek with Jem, and Sally Andrews with Orville. Great job. Nerves of steel. Yes. And we have the winners of this round, Russia. I would love to see Team Russia, and they're amazing. Four clean runs. Here we, Here have, the we have the combined. We have Belgium in the top uh, with only five faults. We have Russia second, ten faults. We have Finland third with the bronze medal, ten faults. The Finns are very happy. everybody here. Yeah. Wow, what a final. <laughs> yes. Are the These are all the teams that have a result from this competition. It was a tough agility course. Russia wins the gold in this competition with four clean runs. No other team managed three clean runs but Russia had four in the agility run. That is absolutely amazing. They had great weave entries, great contacts, and a huge speed. The Belgium, Belgium team is getting ready for the... Okay, here's the Russians. Look at those weave entries. They are so amazing, and I think we have to look out for these. Well, they have always been, I mean, I, they have always been very top-notch here in, when it comes to agility handling. Yes, an individual. They have some of the fastest dogs in the world. Dangerous players. They will be Beautiful. hard to beat if they are clean. This is Joker from the Russian team in the weaves. And we look at that. So fast. This oh, is this Stanislav. Is with He's, with He's so far behind, but then he just rear crosses and does it so nicely. He is amazing. Belgians are getting ready to celebrate. What a final. And there you go. <laughs> this concludes the Congrats, congrats. Finals. Whoa, <laughs> Belgium. They are happy. They are <laughs> celebrating. They are ready. We are getting ready for the prize giving ceremony and the victory laps. And this concludes our job here today. Katarina Holmer with me. I'm Fanegot. 
We are back for the small team final this afternoon. Also Thank an you. Exciting run. See you, folks. Stay tuned for more gorgeous, fantastic agility. Second place, we have Belgium! And in third place, we have Poland! This is just the laps of honor. We'll have another lap of honor in just a little while. We need everyone to leave the course because now we want to have a lap of honor for the combined. Are you ready for the lap of honor? The winners of the team's uh, FCI agility on combined with the jumping, we have the world champions, Belgium! Destiny, I have waited patiently. I have vision, though I believe. I know I can count. And taking the silver medal. Russia! Stand up, stand up, stand up for the champions, for the champions. Stay out. And with the bronze, we have Finland! Just like that's how it is Cause we have our strengths and weaknesses Oh, I have vision, can't you see? I'm on the move, make way for me to so stand up For the champions, for the champions Stand up, stand up, stand up For the champions, for the champions Stay out, out for the champions Champions, stay out, 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 stay out,
Belgium, I would like to ask you, how does it feel to be the best large team in the world? I didn't run, my team did it. This, it's a team to respond it. First, Sally, what do you want to say? <laughs> Nobody? Marek? Olivier? Only thank you for Fonzie. It was very nice to run. And how will you celebrate? Party! Give it up for Belgium! And now we will have the prize giving ceremony for the agility run. So not the totals yet. We will have the prize ceremony for the agility run. In third place, Poland. Second place, Belgium. I think we're gonna have to put up a safety bar here around the podium. <laughs> Hope you're okay. And in first place, Russia.
Give it up for Russia. So, Russia, how does it feel winning the agility run and second overall? Very happy. Uh, yesterday, oh, <laughs> we not in 21st, so second place in overall total is wonderful. <laughs> Very good team. Well, you all had very nice runs. Um, and give it up for Russia.